Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in once again. So today's video request is how to create a glass effect in Canva. So let's get right on to it. Okay, so say for example, this is your image. Now what you need to do is to add, well, or duplicate this image. So just place the same image on top of the image that you've set as background. And what you're going to need to do next is to adjust this image's transparency. So click on it to select it. And then from the toolbar above, go to this button right here, the transparency button, and adjust it to about 75% or maybe even 60% um, if that's okay. And then what you're going to need to do is that you're going to resize your image um, according to the size of your background image so i'm gonna do this and once it's not blurry or hazy anymore that means it's perfectly aligned to the image behind it so now i am going to um crop it just like that crop it because this side will be our glass effect side over here and then we're going to select um, this part over here, the part where you want to add a glass effect to, and then you're going to set it transparency back to 100. It'll make sense later. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we need to do is to add the blur effect. So we're going to click on this part of the image right here. And we're going to go to edit photo on the toolbar above. And then from here on the side panel, we're going to select blur right over here. Click on it. And once you click on it, it'll automatically adjust the, um, the blur of your image for you. You can adjust the slider over here, or you can input values over here, depending on how blurred you'd like your image to be. So for me, perhaps about 35 would be okay. Let's give it a try. Mm, maybe 25. Perhaps 25 is okay. And perhaps we're going to adjust this a bit more to the right. Like that. Okay, I'm quite happy with it. So we're going to click on this area right here to close the side panel. And there you go. So now the next thing we need to do is to add effects to our glass effect over here to make it more realistic. So the first thing I'd like to do is to add like a shadow over here. So I'm going to go to the element section once again, and I'm going to type in here shadow. And I'm going to go to graphics and choose a specific shadow that I'd like to use. How about this one? I'm going to flip it horizontally uh, to be specific. And I'm going to put that here because this will be the very edge. And I'm also going to crop it like that and then resize it and crop it again so that it's not too intense. I'm going to zoom in to see much better. And I'm going to position it to the very edge of our glass effect. And let's see how it looks like. There. OK, the next thing that I'd like to do is to add like dews to it or like um, water droplets or something like that you can go to photos if you're looking for photo elements you can also go to graphics if you're looking for graphic elements so i'm gonna try photos first and i'm gonna try this one and we're gonna adjust it put it right over here Oh, too big. Maybe we could do it like that and then duplicate. And 
Okay, that should be all right. Let's give it another go. Duplicate this one. Put it right over here. Um, okay, I think we're having a problem. So the edges of these droplets don't match the edges of the droplet droplets at the bottom. So we're going to try to look for another one. How about on the graphics section? Oh, this one. Let's give this one a try instead. I think this one's just enough. We're going to duplicate it one more time. And there. Perfect. Now I'd like to add another effect, which is the gradient effect. So I'm going to look for some gradient elements over here under the graphics category. And perhaps I'm going to use this one. I'm going to flip it horizontally. Move it somewhere over here. Perhaps adjust it there. And let's try to add another effect. Just to make it look a bit more dramatic. And put this somewhere over here to serve as the reflection of our glass. Just gonna zoom out a bit. And then maybe we could adjust its transparency to about 50. Or what about 65? And then send it backwards behind the um, water droplets. And then adjust its transparency again. I think it's too light. Perhaps that one's okay. Okay. And I think that's it. So this is actually the uh, trial version that I created because I had to list down the steps I had to take. And this is the um, much more recent result over here. So trial and recent results. Okay, and that's how you create a glass effect in Canva. We hope you found today's video of help somehow, and um, we hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.